In this episode, we're going to look at how to add music and sound effects to your uh, voice to uh, enhance the podcast even further, more to give it that production type of quality. Um, so the first step is to click on the little eyeball here. We've used been clicking on the scissors for the past two episodes, but we're going to click on the eyeball. When you do that, you get um, an interface that lets you see jingles, stingers, and other sound effects. Okay. And jingles typically are little music tracks and there you can see they are listed by genre. And when you click on one you'll see for example I'm in the country category and then if you scroll over it'll show you the length of those jingles. And sometimes you'll have uh, the same file name three or four times but that's because each of them will might be of different lengths. So if you want to hear one you just click once on it If you click back on it, it stops. So you can preview the jingles that way. Let's look at... Okay. So you go to a different category. Uh, we have broadcast. Here, here's an example. You have broadcast news full, broadcast news long, broad, broadcast news medium, and broadcast news short. And that's 55 seconds all the way down to 7 seconds. So let's listen to the short one. <laughs> want that one, or whatever one in the list, you simply drag it up and release it on the jingle line. Now it doesn't matter where you release it because you can always move it around. Okay, Just like your voice as you record, you can move the jingles around. So I have my podcast episode starting with my voice. Welcome to this podcast episode on internet safety and what it means to be a citizen in a digital era. <laughs> Welcome to this. Okay, and that's the effect of that. Um, also, in so the jingle category, music uh, preludes and postludes uh, to start off um, your episode. There's also a category of stingers, and those are the simple, you know, types of radio sound effects you might hear, uh, different accents like the comedy whistle. Uh, it simply allows you to be creative. So I might like that one. Now you notice there's no track here for jingles. So anything that I let go into this gray area, it'll just make a new track for me. So I'm going to let I'm going to go back and get I'm going to drag it up to this gray area and just let go. And you see it made a new track entitled it Stingers. I'm going to put that at the beginning. This podcast episode on internet. Welcome to this podcast episode on internet safety and what it means. I might just nudge my voice over a little bit. Okay. So we have jingles, stingers, and then there are other sound effects. You know, various animal sounds, or you know, a volcano erupting, some ambiance effects like the forest. And these are great when students uh, are being creative. Maybe they're podcasting their stories, or um, where you know these types of sound effects fit. Um, thunder. Okay. And again, if I drag that up and let go again in this gray area, since there's no track for it, it makes a new track called Ambiance. And you want to put these different things on different tracks because sometimes you want them overlapped or layered, and you can't do that when everything is on one track. Again, just like your voice, if you don't want something, like I don't want the thunderclap, I just click once on it and delete it out of there. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and look at the jingles and pick something longer, like broadcast news full. Okay. Because now there's something we're going to look at called ducking. And if you look on, for example, this jingle track, you'll see there's a blue triangle pointing down. Where you look at the male voice track, it has a yellow triangle pointing up. What ducking means is that whenever the jingle is playing at the same time as the voice track, the volume of the jingle will automatically be decreased. Because in the end, you don't want anything to overpower your voice or your message, because your message is what's most important. 
So ducking, when it's on, which means that blue arrow is pointing down, by default it should be on, so you don't have to set that. Um, when my voice starts, you'll hear that broadcast news suddenly gets quieter, so take a listen. Welcome to this podcast episode on internet safety and what it means to be a citizen in a digital era. And now it can get louder. Welcome to this podcast episode on internet so ducking is a nice feature when you want to have music or some audio throughout your podcast, um, but not have it overpower your voice. Okay, so you want that blue arrow pointing down by default on all of these. Now, if for some reason that doesn't do its job fully, you'll notice I, I in the earlier podcast episode, I neglected to tell you about this little triangle at the end of every track. And what it is, is it is a volume leveler that allows you to change the, the volume of that track incrementally as you go along. So for example, if I, if I notice that my voice was still being overpowered a little bit, I, there's a line here. If I click once on that line and then click just beside it, I can bring the volume down. And then I can click somewhere else and bring the volume up. And then you can click somewhere else and bring the volume down. And depending on how you click, you can adjust how quickly the volume goes up and down. So I can further adjust, and not just on the jingle track, every track has this. So for some reason my voice isn't quite loud enough, I could even click on the end bu little bubble at the end and bring the whole line up at once. But if suddenly my voice is too loud somewhere, I can click and then click somewhere else and decrease the volume back down. So this little triangle and now pointing up, all that does is display the track volume. And again, along that timeline, you can increase the volume or decrease the volume. So it's a useful tool to know about there. Um, so now the effect beyond ducking is that... Welcome to this podcast episode on internet safety and what it means to be a citizen in a digital era. Welcome to this podcast episode on internet safety and what so it you, means you to be really a citizen in a digital era. Okay, so you get the idea. So that displays the track volume for you. And that's, that's the gist of working with um, the jingles and sound effects and stingers. Just things to complement, uh, that put the little creative spice into your episode to make it more authentic, as a radio show would be. Um, and again, students can, there are all kinds of creative things students can do with these as well. Um, down here at the bottom, the last little thing I want to show you, we have this blue icon, which is this podcast icon clicked for the sound effects. There's also a music one, and by clicking on there, it gives you access to all kinds of built-in loops, music loops, either by genre or by instrument. So for example, if I want um, a bass line, I can click on bass, and then I can further customize that by what kind of bass do I want. Urban bass, okay, and then I can preview it by clicking. And I just, if I decide I want that one, again, I'm just going to drag it up to this gray area and let go, and you can see it made a new track called Electric Bass. And to get back all my choices, I'll just click on Reset, and I'm back to the beginning. So I'm, if I'm looking for something piano-ish, and something relaxed, maybe some jazz. I might really like that one as an interlude in my podcast or before my voice starts. So I'll drag that again up to this gray area and make a new track. Because I don't want to put on the bass line. I suppose I could put it on the ambiance line. I can also put it on the stinger line, although it's not really a stinger, and I could even put it on the jingle line. Um, but because I have so many things for the purpose of this, I'm, I'm showing you how to make new tracks. Um, and so that's the gist of adding audio to your voice and images to enhance your podcast episode even further.